I've talked about this before, but I just wanted to point out again that this program is like 30 plus years old and it's a progressive real-time rendering 3D software on the Amiga. So you've got this 3D ball, okay, this 3D ball with specular lighting and shadowing and this procedural texturing. And you can go over here and you can adjust things, right? Look at that. In real time, it's updating the 3D model. Now you're like, well, what do you mean 3D animation or 3D model? No, I mean, it's, it's a ball, okay, it is a ball. But that's a still, this is a ray traced you know, rendered 3D ball, and it's, I can tweak it over here in real time on my Amiga 1200. And this is, this is a real Amiga 1200, okay? And it's got the 68060 in it, which is a beefy CPU for an Amiga, but, you know, plausible, it's not impractical. And I just, it just freaks my mind that we've got this real time progressive renderer Back then, this is like 30 plus years old. We have a real time progressive renderer for the Amiga with this Forge program. Steve Worley was a genius. And the thing is, the guy that wrote this software in the Amiga, he came out with a plugin called F Prime years, years later for the Windows version of Lightwave. And it was a, guess what? A real time progressive renderer engine for Lightwave. So, yeah. This is where he got the start. This is where he got the roots of it. I just think this is so cool. I'm like, wow. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Look how fast this is updating, too. 30 plus year old software doing real time progressive ray traced rendering and procedural generation of this texture file over here. Look at that. That's pretty freaking cool.